Hi, I'm Sonya and Chimu to me so this is a collective reading. Tarot reading. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen. You know it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take resonates to leave a rest with someone else. No, it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers. I will not reach out to you for a page reading. You have to reach out to me first through my Facebook or my website. Please chat to me on there, anywhere. Uh, so the cards that I use are Mystic Dreamer Tarot by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore and Right Awake Tarot by Pamela Coleman-Smith. This is a collective reading for Ophiuchus. 13th zodiac so it looks like you have a very you have very strong boundaries at the moment you're actually you're winning there's some sort of battle between you and someone else that's possibly a wounded warrior oh, so there's somebody here that sees that you're very strong you have a you have won some sort of battles you are standing out looking amazing you could have some sort of platform even where you're being noticed and but it looks like you, you're armored up you've got very strong armor on so you have very strong boundaries um you're very independent you're very abundant look at this this is empress energy so this empress is the most beautiful queen in the deck somebody that embodies all the queens of the deck and this person is very abundant so they can make money on their own they're doing so well on their own they can give birth to new things um they you know can give birth to businesses whatever so there's somebody here who's Pisces Cancer Scorpio who's wounded feeling quite sad wounded watching there you know in the emotions now they're wanting to take a leap of faith towards you maybe and start a new journey with you but they can see that your strong boundaries are making it tough so they're feeling quite emotional feeling like they're sort of a bit stuck there they're not able to come forward and but you're very beautiful you're very attractive someone that can attract anybody it looks like so you could have some sort of fame you could be kind of getting noticed you could be well known in your community and you're really looking beautiful so in the distant oh so the so you also have a very strong intuition you have um so you've trusted your intuition that this person could have they they've that this person has rejected your offer um you've got a very strong intuition so you're trusted that you know a bit more than you know than they realize that they've so they've been actually hot and cold and so it's like coming and going i get a itchy nose so i'm not sure why so this person yeah wishy-washy hot and cold they could be a fire sign leo sagittarius and aries they are crying over spilt milk because they're crying over the spilt wine and possibly because they were looking at that other wine and they rejected your cup they were too busy looking at all the other cups they didn't really have time to even consider your feelings and the nose gets itchier and itchier oh i dropped my card so in the distant past you have you have four of wands hang on a second i'm just dropping them everywhere so in the distant past you've had some sort of reunion celebrations coming together of two people uh but it looks very confusing because uh, you've had reunion but there's been conflict and fights and being stuck at a crossroads it looks like there's been some sort of arguments and this person is blindfolded so you have stayed stuck or somebody has kept you stuck here it looks like it's a beautiful celebration but it's actually conflict fights disagreements somebody didn't make a decision it looks like you've trusted your intuition that this person has been just kind of like keeping you stuck and they're keeping you stuck and it's like a whole lot of fights and drama and you kind of like trusted your intuition that this has not been good for you and it looks like you've had to choose yourself so there's wounded warrior so it looks like in the recent past someone is feeling quite wounded possibly because they wounded you and kept you stuck <coughs> oh this is the empress so this is the empress that's flipped around there there's a wounded warrior this is the recent past somebody has feeling quite wounded possibly because you're a beautiful empress and now they're feeling stuck 
they want to give you their cup of love. We're getting similar cards here. To this person that's feeling quite wounded, they have sleepless nights. There's some sort of anxiety, can't sleep at night. They would like to come and offer you their cup of love. They're at a crossroads and this is actually... They want to offer this Empress their cup and they see that this Empress is this beautiful uh, queen, someone that they would like to have love with. The Empress embodies all the queens of the deck, someone that can give birth to new things, give birth to new ideas and businesses. That's probably why they're quite wounded and quite upset because you're so beautiful and they can see that you've got new love coming towards you. And that you're at a crossroads, so somebody feels a lot of anxiety and is actually not able to sleep. So it looks like you've actually had a lot of anxiety as well. So your thoughts are a little bit about this, um, you can't sleep at night. Nine of swords. <coughs> Maybe you've got some throat, tickly throat, can't really speak your truth. Throat chakra. So your thoughts are... Um, Anxiety, sleepless nights, you got a lot of anxiety, you can't really sleep. Um, there's a new cycle beginning, so there is this person who is wishy-washy, wishy-washy, coming and going, and they rejected your cup. So the thoughts are a lot of anxiety, this person just rejected you, they're really immature. Um, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, so you're going within, you're healing, you're taking time out, you're really just, um, you know, taking time to yourself to heal from the situation. There's a positive new cycle that's starting. Um, so try not to worry too much. Those thoughts. Those anxiety thoughts and all that. So trust your intuition and know that you have someone sweet coming towards you in the future. A lot of cups. Holy heck. Look at that. Well, would you look at that. So in the future here, we have this knight in shining armor. Somebody that is caring and loving. This is double confirmation that there's somebody here that's caring and loving and sweet and kind. They're coming towards you in the future here. This is, this is also generational wealth. So this is amazing wealth coming towards you. Wealth that can last for generations and that's really abundance. That's, you know, happiness as well. It's a material wealth. So there's an ending though, a painful ending. This is 1010, these two cards. Somebody here is coming forward that would like to um, work together to build this amazing wealth with you. You have to move forward from this ending though. So you have to move forward into calmer waters. You're moving away from this heartbreak. This has been stabbed in the back multiple times. You have a passionate new beginning coming towards you. Somebody that wants to sweep you off your feet and is actually a very um, loving, kind person. But it's a painful ending you're going to deal with as well. So to get this amazing wealth, you have to move forward from this ending that you've been going through or that you're going to be experiencing. Queen of Wands. So there's fears about a Queen of Wands. So this is a fire sign. Somebody that's out in the cold. So at the moment your fears are about this fire sign. Um, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Someone that's feminine energy. Maybe someone's fearing that you're be so beautiful. You're abundant. You're looking awesome. Look at this. This is abundance. You've got the nine of pentacles. You're really financially stable on your own. You've tamed your inner beast. Um, like that bird on your hand, you've tamed, cut out this devil energy, so you have like really kind of cut out any toxic energy. You've left this person in the cold, and they're feeling like they're being abandoned. They really want to come towards you to have um, like a reunion, but it looks like you're moving forward into some sort of new beginning here where you are abundant and you're awesome on your own. So there's fears around you looking awesome. Feminine energy. And someone that's very abundant. Kenta energy is the chariot. Somebody feels abandoned. And it looks like they've got some toxic behaviours too. That's Cap Capricorn as well. Energy. Six of cups. So other people see you as their soulmate. They see you as the mother of their children. 
they see you as very nurturing kind of mother energy so this is how others see you as this beautiful mother they see you as getting fame and fortune you could be getting well known in your community really loving and kind really good with children but they also see that you're juggling a lot trying to do a lot of different things and they're trying to hold on to you somebody is trying to hold on to you maybe you're holding on to a past situation you're not ready to let go of yet so maybe that's what it is they see that you're still holding on to something and that you're juggling trying to do so many things they see that you're holding on to something still ten of swords so at the moment you're kind of hoping for a painful ending for some reason it sort of doesn't make as much sense that you're wanting that <laughs> It looks like you're hoping you can overcome this painful ending, actually. You really wanted to move forward into this, to calm waters. You're wanting to move forward into, like, a new cycle. You're really wanting to just, you're hoping that you can actually recover from this. You're hoping this person also can come back towards you and give you a, an apology. Because this is actually, like, a um, reunion card sometimes. This is Sagittarius. Maybe you're also hoping that they actually get, um, that they're getting some sort of karma. And you're hoping that there's some rewards, like a positive new cycle, it looks like anyway, and that you're going into and you're moving into calmer waters. So things are going to get balanced out. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. So the outcome is this they're just trapped at this crossroads so you still really you need to make a decision you got the blindfold and you're on and you're not really making a decision so you really clearly need to try and make a clear decision so that it can come in for you because at the moment you also have this card where you're blindfolded as well so you're blind gagged you're blindfolded gagged and bound so you need to cut off the blindfold because this is a self-imposed prison you're keeping yourself trapped here this is like a karmic situation that you're keeping yourself trapped in and look at this, there's someone that wants to come forward and offer you like a new opportunity. This is like you being abundant on your own, being awesome on your own and actually really abundant as you are by yourself. So you, this may take a little bit of time, it could be a little bit of waiting <clears throat> and there could be someone that wants to come forward towards you and offer you some sort of new opportunity. You feel quite excited about this new, new beginning but you need to make this decision clearly so that you can move forward here. There's a King of Cups as well, who's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy coming towards you. They feel quite passionate about you. They feel a lot of passion. They see you as their lover. They would like to come and balance things out with you. And they uh, also see you as their soulmate. So you have choices in love though. So this is also Gemini energy. There's Sagittarius energy as well. So looks like you have a bit of options there, but you need to make this decision. This Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy has very much passion towards you. So this person is coming towards you, but you have to make a decision because you're keeping yourself trapped. So very interesting. Bye.